Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my top 5 Xbox modules. So before we start off, a quick reminder, uh, your device must have root access to install the Xbox modules. So go ahead, if you're not rooted, root it and install the Xbox framework and then come back to the video. So at number 5, we have a swipe back. This module acts like a system wide back button just by swiping from the edges. As you can see, it provides me a list of all my apps and you can open up individual apps and you can enable the swipe back here and you can change up the trigger edge. I cut mine a left and then you can also adjust the sensitivity and there are extra options like uh, you can make your status bar transition look a lot smoother by enabling this. So a quick demo to show you guys what this app does. As you can see, it takes you back to the home screen without even going all the way down to hit the back button. Uh, I find this module very useful and I use it very often. So you guys must definitely check it out. So at number 4, we have screen of animation. This module right here does exactly what its name says. Basically it gives you a list of animations. As you can see, I have the CRT horizontal animation, the CRT vertical animation, the LG Optimus G animation, then word to touch, and there's even an option to randomize your animations. Apart from this, uh, you can adjust the speed of your animation. Personally, I've kept mine at 200 milliseconds. Uh, you can also preview your animation by hitting the preview button. So similar to this, there's a screen on animation tab. Basically with all the same animations. So this uh, module is awesome. And you guys must check it out. Number 3, we have Boot Manager. Uh, with this module, you can stop apps from being executed during the system startup. So once you tap on an app, it will turn red, which means that it will no longer start with the Android system after a reboot. And finally, for advanced users, there's even an option to enable logging for both disabled and enabled apps. So overall, it's an amazing module. Uh, it has greatly helped me in removing the lag which you have in as soon as our system restarts the Zoe mode. So this module gives you uh, customization features for your device. There are options like clock modes which essentially changes up the status bar clock. You can now enable seconds to it, make the clock bold and change up the size of the clock. As you can see the settings are applied have shown up on the clock. Then we have battery bar modes, notification modes. I'm not going in depth with each and every feature because that is going to take a lot of time. Then we got list view which gives you a cool animation when you scroll down a list as you can see. There are other features like changing a system animation, IME animation. We also have lock screen modes with which you can enable lock screen torch. Then we have an option to switch to the classic recent panel for those who don't like the current one. Overall this module is a good module and it's packed with features to customize your device with. So my favorite Xbox module is Greenify. This module hibernates your apps so that they don't run in the background when they're not in use. As you can see, this page shows all my hibernated apps. You can click on the plus sign to hibernate more apps. I've only kept a few essential apps running in the background. Once we jump on into the settings, we are presented with three modes, namely the non-root mode for non-root users, then the root mode and the boost mode. So I'll be using the boost mode. So in boost mode you get a variety of options like wake up timer or telephony wake up which means that your messaging platforms if hibernated would work just fine. Then you got don't remove notifications. Then other options are only accessible if you buy a donation package. So with that you'll get deep hibernation as you can greenify system apps. So I definitely suggest that you guys buy the donation package and get the full effect of the greenify app so that's it for the video folks hope you guys enjoyed and see you guys in the next one bye yeah.